Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch, and we have yet another humble bundle of interest to developers. So I'm featuring it here on the channel. Now, as I said several months back, if there is a bundle that makes sense to share with you guys, I will buy it and let you know exactly what you're getting. Now, if you're unaware about Humble Bundle and how it works, basically it is a collection of things, be it video games, be it software, be it tutorials, be it books that are all around a common theme. And in this particular case, it is the Python programming language from O'Reilly Press. Um, and the way it works is you can buy in multiple tiers and you can choose how your money is allocated. You can have it go to the publisher, towards charity, uh, towards Humble themselves, or if you so choose, towards us, which by the way, thank you very much if you go that route. Today's bundle is about as straightforward as they get. It's a bunch of programming books from Python. Now do be careful when you're looking at these books. A few of these O'Reilly books were actually in previous Humble bundles, so do check your inventory. Make sure you're not rebuying the book you already want. And this one is also pretty straightforward on the pricing. It's only at three tiers, the most expensive tier being 15 bucks this time. And they say $524 worth of awesome books. And that's pretty much true, to be honest. I'll show you what formats everything is in. But let's take a look at what books you get for Python. So at the dollar tier, and the way this works is if you buy the, the lowest tier, you get what's in that tier. You buy the mid tier, you get everything in the mid tier and in the lowest tier and so on. So in the $1 tier, you get Introduction to Python, Hitchhiker's Guide to Python, Elegant SciPy, and Natural Language Processing with Python. You're noticing that Python is used very heavily in machine learning, scientific computing. It's also used heavily in the game development world for like um, build process management and data management of, you know, maybe outside of the game itself, but for dealing with the project files and stuff associated with it, very commonly you'll see Python used in that regard. And now in this collection, you're not actually going to see any specific to game development related books. But on the flip side, if you are looking to learn Python, O'Reilly books are some of the best ones you can buy. All right, so now let's look at the $8 tier or $10.79 if you live in Canada with me. Uh, you get Think Python, you get Think Bays, uh, Python Data Science, Science Handbook and Thoughtful Machine Learning with Python. Now, one thing to notice here is the addition. That's always an important thing to check out when you are dealing with book bundles. Make sure you're not getting a, a, an addition or two out of date, but we'll see in a second that is actually quite current. And we'll see what the actual value of these books are when we look them up on Amazon. All right, so that is the mid tier. And in this case, the top tier is $15. Here you see Fluent Python, Web Scraping with Python, Test Driven Development with Python, Flask Web Development, and Twisted Network Programming Essentials with Python. And there's another area where you could potentially utilize Python is as your game server. Um, it's a great little language. I, I do recommend it, or at least I used to heavily. The, the, there was the whole schism between 2 and 3, and it made Python a very confusing place. But that seems to all be sorting out. Python is, again, it's heavily used in certain areas. It's used heavily for... Uh, TD or technical directors in the CGI or the computer graphics world, uh, that's an area where Python is heavily used. Python is the scripting language behind MEL or um, uh, Maya, for example. And so it, it is used a lot behind the scenes, but not really typically used to make too many games. I can actually only think of a couple of games that directly use Python. I believe Civilizations 4 used it on the back end. And... Um, Oh, was it Eve? Eve Online might have used stackless Python. One of those space games definitely used Python. So it is used in gaming, but not that commonly, to be honest. Uh, if you are interested, though, in using Python with gaming, check earlier on my channel. I did on uh, Panda, Panda 3D. Um, it's a game engine from Disney that's actually Python-based and quite cool. All right, so next up, we have the books yourself. So if you buy this bundle, here is what you get. And the good news is for this O'Reilly collection of books, you get basically every format you want. PDF, EPUB, and Mobi. You get them, you can store them on their servers. You're free to re-download them as many times as you want. And as you can see, regardless of what e-reader you've got, Every book is available in every single format. So that's definitely nice in this particular case. Now, uh, again, let's go back. We said the earlier version here of the tier two book, as an example, Think Python. This is showing as the second edition. If we head on over and Google on Google on Amazon, if we search on Amazon for that particular book, you will see that, yeah, it's, it's actually the most current version. The other version is actually here in the search term. Uh, so you see it's 23. 357 from a digital list price of $33. So I think that you could safely say that this number, even though nobody ever pays full price on Amazon, this number is actually pretty accurate. These are mostly current or the most current versions of each book that I tested. So you see a lot of times it's second or so on edition. Um, 
In those particular cases, that is the most current version, at least all of the ones I searched and found. So that does make this a reasonable value if you are actually interested in learning in Python. Now, if you don't give a damn about Python, and I know some of these books are a little on the, uh, again, data sciences or scientific computing or machine learning side of the equation, more so than the game development side. I can see why some of you may not be too, too interested here. But even then, you can look at this as a chance to get an introduction, two introduction books to Python. Uh, for a buck. So even then, I can see value there. But once again, a lot of these books have actually been in previous Humble Bundles. Do be sure to check your existing library to make sure that you're not buying the same book twice. Um, and I don't believe you can transfer your license. So even if you get it, you know, you have two copies of it, you can't just hand one out. Uh, well, you can, but it would be piracy. Okay, that's it. Uh, that, so that is the Humble, let's give it the full name, Humble Book Bundle Python by O'Reilly. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know what you think of Python in general. Like I said, it's not a language that gets a lot of love in the world of game development. Like beyond uh, Panda 3D, there are not a whole lot of game engines out there for Python. Um, there's Pygame for creating 2D games, but it's really slow. Um, but what do you think of the language in general? Have you used it? Have you tried to use it for game development? Do you use it for other reasons? Are, are you interested in Python or is it not really your thing? Um, let me know. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. All right. Goodbye.